So welcome to Understanding Essential Oils. This is an introduction class to essential oils for those of you that just want more information. Maybe you recently got your starter kit and you're just wondering how to use it, um, how to utilize all the oils in the kit um, and the different ways that you can use them. So I'm Amanda Lehman. Um, I'm the founder of the Living Well Movement and the Pathway to Freedom Natural Health Conference for Southeast Texas and also a personal trainer and fitness nutrition specialist. We started using essential oils in our house about six years ago, um, just really as a way to naturally address my son's skin and respiratory issues. And so that was the reason that we started um, about six years ago and we haven't turned back from there. So we have lots of testimonies, lots of things to share on the different ways to use essential oils as do many people in our lives and our family. So, um, so let's get started. Let's talk about, first of all, what essential oils are. And this is a graphic. So I'm just gonna kind of go through the graphics and show you guys um, some basic information. So oils are volatile liquids that are found in plants. Um, we take the different plant materials and um, they're mulched, they're steam distilled, the oil is extracted from the plant material. And so an essential oil is not just an aromatic um, liquid, it has medicinal properties because there can be up to hundreds of different chemical constituents in a single plant oil. So lavender, for instance, can have up to like 200 different constituents and those chemical compounds all have different um, and sometimes they overlap and have some of the same properties as in like an anti-inflammatory or an antiparasitic or something like that. And so there are real, um, real properties, real medicinal properties to these chemicals that are found in the essential oils. Um, there is a pocket reference or a desk reference book for essential oils. There are lots of different reference apps that you can use that will show you the different chemicals that are in each oil and the properties of those chemicals. And then it will also tell you each of the ways that that oil can be used, whether it's topically, aromatically, or internally. And so this is going to be the next um, slide, how to use oils. There are three different ways to use an essential oil. Aromatically, which is simply just to smell it. You can smell it directly out of the bottle. You can also put it in a diffuser. There's one going behind me right here. Um, three to six drops, or you can add 10 to 12 drops sometimes, depending on the oil um, and how much you like um, of that particular oil, how strong the oil is, et cetera, how big the room is. Um, those are all just recommendations and um, you really can do it however you want to with the diffusing as far as the amount of drops that you put in. If it's a stronger oil, you probably wouldn't use as much. So you can use diffuser jewelry. So there are necklaces, um, bracelets, earrings, leather is a great diffuser, lava beads are a great diffuser, so the little black beads um, that you see on jewelry, those are great diffusers too. And so you can um, put a leather cuff on your kid if they want a certain essential oil for focus and attention, maybe calming at school, and they can wear that diffuser jewelry with their favorite essential oil on it. So that's aromatically, simply smelling the oil. And the way that that affects you when you smell a chemical when you smell an essential oil it goes into the olfactory bulb it goes into the limbic system of the brain it's directly connected to that part of the brain that is the only sense that you have that is directly connected to the limbic system of the brain and so what does that mean the limbic system is responsible for memories emotions for storing those things and also for hormone balance for your um your um your vital processes in the body, like your blood pressure, your heart rate, your respiration, all of those things are controlled in that part of the brain. And so you can stimulate and calm those different areas of the brain with essential oils, depending on what their chemical constituents are. And so if you've got an oil that's high in something called sesquiterpenes, that is very oxygenating to the brain and it's stimulating to the pituitary gland, the pineal gland, and all of those structures and glands in the brain that are responsible for memory, emotion, and all of those um, processes that I just mentioned. So the second way to use an essential oil is topically, which is on your skin. You can apply an essential oil directly on your skin if it's a mild oil um, and you do not have to dilute it. 
if you're going to use a hot oil, which would be considered like peppermint, thieves, cinnamon, oregano, several other oils are considered a hot oil. You would want to dilute those before putting them on your skin if you've got a skin condition, if you have sensitive skin, or if we're talking about a child or a baby. You just want to be extra cautious with the little ones. Their systems aren't fully developed, and so they can be more sensitive to oils. And so you would dilute with something like olive oil, coconut oil, avocado, grape seed, things like that would be considered a carrier oil, um, just to be extra safe with their skin. Um, a lot of oils that are super mild can be applied directly to the bottoms of feet for babies. But I would generally just, my personal recommendation would be for a baby or a toddler would be to dilute anything that you put on their skin and just start low and go slow. Use a small amount, be super cautious with the little ones and um, it doesn't take a whole lot. Um, one drop is usually enough of an application even for an adult sometimes if you're going to apply topically. And what do I mean by that's enough? Just that in one drop of oil there are literally millions of molecules. And so all of those chemical constituents are going to cover the cells of your body because there are so many molecules in one drop of oil. That's all I mean. You don't have to, you know, less is more. A lot of times with essential oil, just because you're using more doesn't mean it's going to necessarily be more effective. But when applying topically and also when taking internally, um, an essential oil is metabolized out of a healthy body in about three to six hours. So if you're sick and you're using oils to support the immune system, you want to apply and or take an essential oil every few hours because you're going to metabolize it out of the body that quickly. And so they're effective when they're used correctly and consistently over time. And then the third way to use an essential oil is internally. Like I just mentioned, you can take a lot of oils internally. We're gonna talk a little bit more about that in a second, but you can um, add oils to your water, like lemon oil is a great oil. It's great for cleansing. It is great for urinary support. It's great for respiratory support. So lemon is very cleansing and it is a great oil to take internally. Obviously one that makes a lot of sense to take internally would be the citrus oils, the spice oils, the herb oils, um, and all of the dietary oils, we'll kind of talk about that in a second. But you can add them to water, you can add them to teas, you can take them in honey. I give my son a drop of lavender and a teaspoon of honey when the seasons are kind of changing and he comes in from outside all sneezy and junked up. One drop of lavender and a teaspoon of honey, and usually we only do that one time for him just to kind of support those seasonal issues that he deals with. So also internally, you can put um, oils in a capsule. So you see in that picture on the screen there on the right, the little um, thumbnail is a capsule. So you can get empty veggie capsules. You can get those from Young Living or any vitamin store, and you can add a few drops of oil to a capsule and then fill it with a carrier oil. And that's really just to give it something to sit in in the stomach. Because if you use an oil like peppermint or digize or something like that to support digestive function, um, if you've got an empty stomach, it could burn the stomach a little bit if you're more sensitive, especially on an empty stomach. Same thing if you take a vitamin on an empty stomach. You're going to feel um, a little bit of discomfort, so you want to take it with something. So usually if you just mix your essential oils with a carrier oil, a fat oil like fractionated coconut or olive oil, then that's going to cover you and that's going to be fine. So you can take um, capsules internally. And just for reference, um, I take capsules every few hours if I do get sick. And literally within about 24 hours, I'm completely clear and feel 100% better and don't have to take it or use anything regularly after that. So that's a little bit about how you use them. Three ways, aromatically, topically, and internally. So let's go over, um, speaking of dietary oils, we have two different labels with essential oils. We have the Vitality, oil labels and we have the regular. So you see the example with the bottles of lemon on the screen. You have a yellow label and you have a white label that says lemon vitality. So here's the difference. Just the directions on the label for how to use the oil. The FDA states that you cannot label something for internal and topical use on the same label. So that's why we have two different bottles. It's the exact same oil in the bottle. So for instance, the yellow label comes in a larger bottle and I use a lot of lemon. So regardless, if I'm taking it internally, diffusing, putting it on my skin, I get the big bottle because there's more oil in the bottle. That's the only difference, the instructions on the label. So it's just a law about labeling and that's the only um, thing you need to know about that. Other than that, if it says lemon on the bottle for Young Living, if it says lavender, the only thing in that bottle is going to be lemon essential oil or whatever oil label you're looking at. Okay, peppermint. 
when you get the Young Living Starter Kit, so these are going to go over the, um, the 12 oils in the Young Living Starter Kits, the Premium Starter Kit. So this is the most cost-effective way to get started with Young Living, um, to kind of introduce yourself to like a medicine cabinet full of oils. So peppermint is the first one we're going to talk about. You're going to get peppermint in the Vitality label, so it's going to be labeled for internal use. It's going to tell you how to use it internally. But if you look at the bottom part on the right-hand side, it tells you also how to use this topically and aromatically. So just, you can screenshot any of these that you would like to keep the information on for personal use. But um, I'll tell you how we use peppermint. Peppermint is great for fevers. Peppermint is great for digestive support. It's a very cooling oil. It's good for pain and inflammation. Um, peppermint is one that you would use for different um, digestive issues. So regardless if you're sick or not, or if you've got some digestive complaint, peppermint is going to be great. Lots of people use peppermint for um, tension and discomfort, headaches. You can take the bottle and flip it over onto your thumb and then stick th your thumb to the roof of your mouth. And that's just going to go straight up. You're going to um, take that easily. It's going to be absorbed easily. And it's going to go straight to... Um, that discomfort that you're experiencing. So peppermint is great to diffuse. It is a very crisp, fresh smelling oil. It's great for concentration um, and energy. So it's a very energetic um, kind of opening oil. It opens up the sinuses. It opens up the respiratory tract. So lots, lots and lots of uses for peppermint oil. Lemon oil, we mentioned a little bit about lemon oil being cleansing and being great for the urinary system. So people who are frequently getting different urinary infections and stones and things like that, lemon is very cleansing and detoxifying to the body. It is great also for digestive issues. If we're talking about the gallbladder and the liver, we're talking about detoxing and getting some things broken up and flushed out, this is what you want. And so those of you who maybe have experienced um, gout before, maybe you have heard of uric acid. Uric acid is something that builds up in the body and can form crystals in different joints. Um, and you'll get these kind of calcifications sometimes in different parts of the body. And so lemon is great for breaking those things up. Um, have people in my life very close to me with personal testimonies about lemon. Lemon is a very inexpensive, very easy to use oil. So it's a great oil to have on hand. Also diffusing it, I pretty much put it in the diffuser every time I turn one on because I just love the smell of lemon. It's my favorite. Um, it gets sticky labels and messes off. So it's great for cleaning. It's great for detoxing and it smells great too. And then all of your citrus oils are going to be emotionally supportive as well. So they're going to just kind of um, put you in a place emotionally where you just feel a little bit more balanced. Because when you think of maybe when you peel an orange and something that kind of has that bright, happy smell, that's what lemon oil smells like. Thieves. Pretty much everybody has heard of Thieves. This is Young Living's most popular blend of oil. There is an entire line of products built around this blend. And so this is really going to be, when you first think of Thieves, you're going to think of Thieves as immune support. So you can take Thieves internally. You can take it topically. You can apply it topically. And you can also diffuse Thieves. So if you've got people sick in your house, they've come down with something, Diffuse your things. We actually remediated our home after Hurricane Harvey flooded our house strictly with thieves um, essential oil and thieves household cleaner. That's the only thing that we use. We didn't use any fungicides or anything like that. So you can, um, like I said, you can use thieves all three different ways. And this is just an all around um, necessary oil to have in your house if you're wanting to support health and healing and immune function. Naturally, you're going to want thieves oil. Great to put on the bottom of kids' feet, feet before school as well to kind of protect them. Citrus Fresh. This is a blend from Young Living too. This is going to be obviously a blend of citrus oils, and it also has spearmint in it. So this is a very fresh, clean-smelling oil. It's great to diffuse when you're cleaning. This is one of the ones that I will kind of rotate through taking and putting on my air filter on my return air vent. So it's just kind of going through the whole house and kind of cleaning the air. So it's great for detoxing the air. It smells clean and fresh. Um, again, it's a very happy smelling oil because of all the citrus in it. And it's very cleansing. You can add it to cleansers or just diffuse it if you, if you like that smell. So when you use a diffuser, you are replacing candles. You're re replacing those um, toxic wax burners, air fresheners, plug-ins, 
All of those things are made with synthetic fragrances and those chemicals are considered xenoestrogens, which are fake estrogens that actually raise your estrogen level in your body and can contribute to estrogen dominance, which we know is a risk factor and increases your risk for different cancers. So sad note there on diffusing over using fake fragrances in your house. Digaz, this is a blend for the digestive system. So this is one you can also take internally, apply topically, and diffuse. It doesn't smell great. Some people can take it or leave it or think it smells okay. I do not like it at all as far as the smell, but everyone's different. Um, this typically is not one that you would diffuse. It's got fennel in it, it's got anise, it's got ginger and tarragon, several herbs and spices and um, things that you don't generally think of putting in the air and smelling great. But I will tell you that is imperative if you have digestive issues that you have this blend in your home because you can simply rub a drop on your tummy and it is going to either help you with bathroom issues or help you with some kind of pain that you may having maybe having um, people with different irritable um, bowel issues and things like that. They swear by this oil. Some people use it for um, indigestion and keeping acid where it belongs. And so you can put it on topically. You can take it internally. Um, if you like the smell of it, hey, diffuse away. Lavender, everyone has heard of lavender. This is obviously a calming oil. Everyone knows it's great for sleep. It's fantastic for skin health. It's great for burns. Um, healing. It is a great oil for healing, inflammation, and things like that. So if you cut yourself, if you've got a wound, um, insect bites, and things like that, lavender is a great, great oil. It's great for babies. It's great for kids. Any kind of skin issue that you have, this was our gateway oil, I guess you would call it, with cult skin issues. He had eczema severely. He was always flared up. And this oil is one that calmed his skin, calmed his mind, he was able to sleep, it helped with healing, um, this along with tea tree. So if you want more information on that, just reach out to me, I can help you um, address that issue naturally as well. So you can take lavender internally, it is an oil that you can take internally, um, tastes great, there's a lavender lemonade recipe that is incredible that Ian Living has out, um, but you can take it internally, like I said, I give it to Colt in a teaspoon of honey for seasonal issues, you can apply it topically, obviously, on babies and kids, I would still dilute just to be safe. Um, I put lavender on topically without diluting it, but I've been using oils for six years and I do not have sensitive skin whatsoever. But when you're first starting out, I say dilute everything just to be safe, especially with little ones. Um, and then diffusing lavender. So we diffuse lavender and cedar wood a lot together at night. Those are great for sleep support. They're also both great for snoring. Um, and just helping you get into a deeper state of relaxation and sleep. So your hormones are going to balance better. You're going to get more restful, repair, reparative sleep. So lavender, obviously a must-have. Frankincense, this was considered a cure-all in ancient times. This is a biblical oil. This is what I like to call baby Jesus oil. Um, my friend Dr. Haggerton says, when in doubt, pull Frank out because frankincense has many, many chemicals in it and it has a wide range of uses, okay? It's a balancer in the body, um, so it's really going to work wherever you have a need. It's great for skin, so just um, surface level, what you can use frankincense for, skin. It's great to put on your face. It's great for wrinkles. It's great for scarring. Um, great for any kind of skin issue that you're dealing with for healing and for clearing, clearing up scars and helping them to not um, be as noticeable. So great for emotional support. So people with like depression and anxiety issues, frankincense is an amazing oil to wear topically on your body, over your heart, on your wrist. You can put it behind your ears, the back of your neck. Um, any oil that you like that you want to wear topically, you can really apply it anywhere. Um, you can be super in intentional and apply it on location to somewhere you're having an issue, or you can just wear it as perfume if you like the smell. You can also um, take it internally and diffuse it as well. So frankincense is going to be a great, great oil to use. Every oil in this kit is incredible because like I said, you're basically getting an entire natural medicine cabinet with these oils. So immune support, skin support, emotional support, sleep, um, great, great oil for all of those things. 
Okay, we got two here together. These are the two oils that come in the kit that have a childproof cap on them because some of the oils in them are very strong. And so while you wouldn't want babies to drink an entire bottle of any essential oil, um, you want to treat these as medicines and keep them put up so the kids aren't playing around with them like they're toys. But these have childproof caps just because of some specific oils they have in them. Panaway has a winter green on the left, the blue one over there. Um, winter green is about 99% methyl salicylate. And so if you've ever heard the words methyl salicylate, you know that that is considered a drug, um, which most of the chemicals in these oils are considered drugs on their own. But um, methyl salicylate is something like if you were to let your child take a handful of aspirin or they, they swallowed a bottle of aspirin, that would be very dangerous for a child. So if a child drank an entire bottle of pain away, it would have some negative effects. So you'd want to keep that put up. Other than that, a diluted drop of pain away is great to apply. I wouldn't put it on a baby. I would use more mild oils like lavender and frankincense and cobaiba for a baby. But pain away is great. Lots of people use it for joint, bone, muscle discomfort. Discomfort. This is not a vitality oil. This is not an oil that you would take internally. Um, I do personally know people that do take it internally with no issues, but it's not approved as a generally regarded as safe substance for dietary supplementation. It's approved for topical and aromatic. So diffuser and putting it on your body topically is what it's approved for on the labeling. Uh, Raven, this is another really strong oil for respiratory support. So we use RC, which stands for respiratory care for Colt's um, respiratory issues. Um, anytime he is junky or coffee or having a hard time wheezing and doing things like that, we will use RC. Raven is even stronger than that. Um, so this is one that a lot of people use for respiratory issues and conditions, but also in the winter time when people deal with like massive sinus infections and respiratory issues and bronchitis, maybe recurring things. If you've got um, a, a parent or a grandparent that deals with maybe COPD or emphysema, chronic asthma, bronchitis, and things like that, Raven is going to be highly supportive of the respiratory system for people with decreased function. It's going to help open things up and relax those airways and things like that. So the fact that it has camphor in it um, is the reason that it has, and wintergreen also, it has the childproof cap because those are very, um, very potent oils. Again, topical and aromatic. It's not for internal use. Peace and Calming and Valor. So these are two what some people call the unicorn oils with Young Living. They're incredibly popular oil blends because of number one, the smell, but number two, the effects that these two oils produce. These are also not internal use oils. These are both topical and aromatic use only. Peace and Calming is just what it sounds like. It's for peace and calming. It smells incredible. It's great for babies and children to diffuse. It's great to put in Epsom salts and take a bath soak before bed. Great for people who deal with like being anxious during the day um, or stress, things like that. So this is a great oil to wear as perfume as well because it smells so good. It's a great oil to diffuse for sleep. Um, really a great bedtime oil for the whole family. Afternoon time, calming down in the evening, great oil for kids. Valor, this is one of my absolute favorites. Valor also comes in a roll-on, so a bigger 10 milliliter roll-on bottle that's real easy to just take with you and apply. But Valor can be put on topically and also used aromatically. This one smells very powerful and um, grounding. It's a grounding blend of oil. Um, it's known for emotional and um, mental support. It's very good for kind of calming everything down and giving you that feeling of empowerment and strength. So lots of oils in there that stimulate parts of the brain involved in those um, feelings and emotions. So Valor is great. Um, lots of men love this one too. This, it's kind of either or. Like men and women can both use and wear as a scent any of the essential oils, just depending on what you like. But Valor is a great replacement for clones for men. Because we know, as we talked about all of the synthetic fragrances, colognes and perfumes are also in that category. So Stress Away is kind of the bonus oil that you get in the premium starter kit with Young Living. This one has like a vacation smell to me. That's the best way I can describe it. It has vanilla extract in it. It has lime, cobaiba, which is a tree, cedarwood, ocateo, which is an extremely calming oil, and lavender, also a calming oil. It smells incredible. It's great for sleep. It's great for stress. It's great to wear at work. It's great if you're a teacher, every teacher at my kid's school has stress away, literally in their pocket all day long. Um, and this is my teenage daughter's favorite oil 
as well because teenagers are usually stressed out and this is her favorite. So this is the one that she uses every day too. Again, this one is for topical and aromatic use, not for internal use. And your starter kit also comes with these little things on the right called a roller fitment. So you can use your cap on the oil to pop off the little plastic orifice reducer. It kind of reduces just to let one drop come out at a time. And you can replace it with that little roller top. And so you can just carry it with you. You could also put this on the Valor. You could put it on the Peace and Calming. You could put it on the Pain Away for Pain and Inflammation. You can put it on any bottle you want to put it on. Um, and it's going to come with two of those in your starter kit. Also in your starter kit, those little packets on the bottom right hand side of this graphic, um, this is Ninxia Red. You're going to get two packets of the Ninxia Red in your starter kit. And there's also a Ninxia Red starter kit with Young Living. So you get an entire um, line of the, the Ninxia products in your starter kit if you choose to do that. This is going to be a high antioxidant drink. So not so much a supplement like you would think of vitamins and minerals. It is super high in vitamin C um, and how vitamin C is technically an antioxidant. So um, this is something that all four of us in our family drink. We drink it every single day. It's great for overall energy support. It's great for overall system support of all of your body systems because antioxidants go throughout the entire body to scavenge for free radicals. And so free radicals are things that do damage to your cells. They are basically exhaust or waste products of functions in the body. Um, they occur naturally, but when you have too many free radicals in the body, they're causing lots of damage and oxidative stress. And an antioxidant is gonna help negate those things. An antioxidant will give up an electron to a free radical to stabilize it. That's science nerd talk for, it takes care of some bad crap in your body. So um, antioxidant function, um, major boost for that. So you get Ningxia Red in your starter kit as well. And then Thieves Household Cleaner. You're going to get a Thieves Hand Sanitizer in your starter kit. And you're also going to get a small um, spray bottle of the Thieves Cleaner. And so this is all we use in our house. I mentioned earlier when I talked about the Thieves Blend that there's an entire line of products made around this blend. And this cleaner is what we use to remediate our house. It's what I clean with every day in our house. It's the only thing I clean with we clean everything with it. I even clean the inside of my car with Thieves Cleaner. So um, this is a non-toxic, plant-based. It um, has the power, the cleaning power of Thieves, the Im immune boosting power of Thieves in it. And so it's a very fresh, clean smell um, made with the Thieves blend. And you're going to get that in the starter kit as well as the Thieves hand sanitizer, which smells great and it doesn't dry your skin out. Non-toxic. So Young Loving is way more than just essential oils. There are entire lines of skincare, beauty, personal care, hygiene, oral care, all of these products with Young Living. There are hormone balance supplements and creams and products. There are targeted supplements. So we have uh, supplements for basically every system to support that and to fill in gaps where you have gaps in nutrition and um, probiotics, probiotics for kids. So really the full line of health and wellness with Young Living. Pretty much everything Young Living sells is infused with essential oils. So the power is obviously gonna come from your plant materials, from not containing toxic um, ingredients and toxic petrochemicals and containing plant materials and essential oils. Young Living also now has an entire line of baby products, kid products, all infused with essential oils. Not the crazy toxic crap Johnson & Johnson is selling, but infused with essential oils, so it's building to health, not destroying to the health. Also, there's the Savvy Mineral Makeup line. So Young Living's not a makeup company, but we have non-toxic beauty and skincare and body products. And so when we figure out that we need to replace all of these different things in our lives, makeup is one of those things that can be highly toxic. And so there is now a makeup line with Young Living as well, the Savvy Mineral Makeup line. So it's more than just oils. The premium starter kit comes with all 12 of the oils that I just mentioned. It comes with that, um, it's, you see this little packet that says Thieves. It's now a little spray bottle of the Thieves cleaner instead of that packet because those packets were leaking. And so they made a switch in that and they switched that out. The Thieves hand sanitizer, those roller tops that I explained to you, and the two Ninxia packets. And then you choose your diffuser option. That desert mist option to me is the best. It's very pretty. It runs for up to 10 hours. But 
with a dew drop. Um, if the desert mist is too girly, the dew drop is a good option as well. So they're all high quality diffusers. The Rainstone and the Aria come with uh, remotes. They're a little bit more pricey and expensive because they play sounds and they have all the different bells and whistles on them. Um, but other than that, the 165 starter kit comes with the dew drop or the desert mist option. You pick either one of those and get your premium starter kit with Young Living. So it gives you basically this medicine cabinet of, of natural goodness. So you choose any starter kit that you want. The kit that I just went over, you can get an entire Thieves product starter kit. You see that on the left side of this graphic. We have a Ninxia Red starter kit, which comes with two bottles of Ninxia Red, 30 pack of the packets of oil of Ninxia Red, um, the Nitro, which is a Ninxia Red uh, cognitive fitness, like cognitive health for focus and attention supplement. Tastes amazing. You get a bottle of Stress Away, the Roller Top, and the Thieves Cleaner in that kit as well with the Ninxia Red. And then there's also a Savvy Mineral Starter Kit. Um, so any starter kit that you choose, when you go to youngliving.com, you click become a member, you pick your starter kit, and you go from there. You um, And I'm going to tell you about the, the different benefits of that. We also have a brand new basic starter kit option, and you can do that as low as $35. So the basic starter kit gets you your membership with Young Living. It is a membership company. Um, you can order retail from them. It is 24% more expensive. So with Young Living, you become a member for as low as $35, and then you get 24% off for life. You're not required to sell anything. You're not required to do anything or order regularly. Unless you choose to do any of those things, it's always an option. But the basic starter kit is $35. You get what's pictured for that. You get the Thieves Mints. They're actually Thieves Mints. They're incredible. Thieves Hand Sanitizer, the Stress Away Bottle, and the Nature Packets. You're basically buying your membership for this um, $35. And then you also can add on anything to that that you want to. So you can add on any oils, diffusers, products, whatever. For me, you get more bang for your buck with a premium starter kit because you get your diffuser and you're going to need a diffuser. But that is an option for those wanting to get started a little cheaper right off the bat. So Essential Rewards is another bonus of being a Young Living member. It's never required. It's always optional. But it is a rewards ordering program. So you get 25% back after you've been on the Essential Rewards program for 24 months. You start out at 10%. You build up to 20%. And then after you've been using the product, switching everything out for 24 months, you go up to earning 25% back which is pretty cool. Um, you already get 24% off on everything that you ordered, but when you're ordering monthly with Young Living on the Essential Rewards Loyalty Program, you're gonna earn back 25%. So if you are switching out your makeup and you are switching out your medicine cabinet and your cleaners and your toothpaste and your body care products, because you wanna be more natural and because you wanna support health and longevity instead of destroying health with the toxic products, if you're already doing these things, then you do it on Essential Rewards, you get points back for free stuff because then you turn around and you spend your points and you get free stuff, which is incredible. I've been using this program for six years. Um, it recently went up to 25%. So I now earn 25% back the last few years um, and we'll continue to do that as long as they're around because we love everything that they offer. You also get exclusive gifts at three months on the program, six months and nine months, special um, oils for free they throw in your box. Um, you also have access to YL Go shipping, which is pretty much comparable to Amazon Prime. You're basically paying for a shipping subscription, so regardless of what you order and how much you order and how heavy it is, it ships for free for a, that first initial um, price that you pay for while go shipping. So compare it to Amazon Prime, you get free shipping for a year on all of your orders. All right, next, the benefits of Young Living Member. I mentioned 24% off of retail prices. You're creating a less toxic environment by switching out all your everyday products. You get the ability to join Essential Rewards and earn things for free through your points every month. Access to a community of support and product education. So this is not just one of those things where I'm gonna teach you about oils or someone's gonna teach you or they directed you to this video and you're just gonna get your starter kit and you're not gonna know what to do with it. We have private um, membership groups that we can add you to for continuing education. We announce sales. Um, 
we're working on a, a website for the living well right now and a YouTube channel where we'll put up our training videos. And so you have that support through this community. Um, right now we're about 500 strong in the living well movement. And so, or in our private members group, um, but the living well movement is a group also that anyone can be added to and invited to, to learn more. And we're, we're getting close to 2000 on that group. So access to this community of health and education, opportunity to earn an income if you desire to. So it's not something we push in our group, but if you want to pass this on and earn your oils for free and help other people do what you're doing in your home, then you have the opportunity to do that as much or as little as you want. Just sharing your member number and your enrollment link with someone, if they get their starter kit, Young Living will send you a $50 thank you referral. Um, and from there, you can enroll and you can earn commissions and things like that, but it's always optional. No one's ever going to force you to do it. You can do it, not do it. Stop doing it, start doing it, it doesn't matter. It's up to you. So how do you become a member? You purchase any of the starter kits, the basic kit for $35, like I mentioned earlier, or any of those premium starter kits. To stay an active member with Young Living, the only requirement is of you of you is that you are is that you spend at least 50 PV per year, which is roughly $50. That stands for the point value or the product value of every oil and product that you order. So that's the only requirement to be a Young Living member is that you earn about $50 a year, that you spend about $50 a year, and that's it. So to get started with Young Living, any way that you choose, any of the starter kits that we just mentioned, you go to youngliving.com, you click become a member, and then you choose your membership. So you're either going to get, um, you were, well, you're going to click that you were referred by a member and you have their ID number. So if, um, if I invited you to this class, you can enter that number right there on the left hand side as the person that introduced you to Young Living. You'll put it in both of those boxes on the right hand side of the screen. It says my sponsor ID and my enroller ID. And then you click continue. If I'm not the person that invited you to watch this video, then contact that person and get their member number and put it in those boxes. And that is going to make sure that you end up with the support community that we talked about before. So then you're going to choose your starter kit. You can click on the basic kit. That's the one that's selected in this image. So if you click on the basic, then you can set up and order more products along with that $35 basic kit if you want to. Or you can click on premium starter kits and other kits, specialty kits. You can kind of surf and look through there and see what you want to start with. To me, the best value is the diffuser and the 12 oils because of what you're getting with that. And when you understand the oils, then you'll understand the products. A lot of people start with Thieves in the beginning. You get Thieves oil and all the Thieves products, but you don't get a diffuser or any other essential oils. So if you understand essential oils, then you will understand Young Living's products and why they're better. So you pick your starter kit, and then if you are choosing to do essential rewards, which is the monthly ordering, you can do this when you get your starter kit. So with your very first starter kit order, or your very first order of your starter kit, you can set it up on the essential rewards program. That means that you're going to earn back 10 points as soon as you buy your kit. And I always advise everyone to order their starter kit on essential rewards and get those 10 points back. It's basically giving you $10 back on your starter kit because you're not required to continue ordering monthly unless you choose to. You have to go in and set that up. You have to go in every month and put your order in. It's not going to just send you the same thing every month unless you don't change what's in your shopping cart. And so all you have to do is log into your account, put what you want in your cart every month and save the order. And then it will process on the day you choose. You get to choose the date. So if you want it to be on the first, the 15th, the 30th, if you want to process it early, push it back a couple of weeks, you always get to choose that. Um, so you can Confirm your monthly order that you're going to do the essential rewards order. Put what you want on that monthly order and then click continue enrollment and go to the next page. And at any time, if you feel like this is confusing or you need help, you can reach out to me or the person that um, invited you to watch this video and they can help walk you through this. It's nothing that you're locked into or that you're um, signing your life away for. A lot of times I think when people hear monthly ordering, they think that, but for us pretty much now we have everything on auto draft. Everything's easy. And so all of our wellness products and all our oils, they're all on auto draft. Like I go in, I change my order for what I need every month. All of our personal care, all of our bathroom, our kitchen stuff, our oils, our supplements, everything's on that order every month and I save it. And so you put all of that info in and then you click next 
and go through the process of entering all of your information and checking out and that's it and you're a Young Living member. Um, so feel free to contact me for more information if you have questions, if you're wanting to get your starter kit, um, or the person that invited you to watch this video. So you're welcome to share this. Um, we are going to um, share the link in any of the classes that we do. And so you can share that with other people to share essential oils with them. I hope this was helpful to you. And thank you so, so much for joining me.